What's going on guys, it's Jake here, and in this video I'll be talking about passive income. But before I get into the video, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I talk about the stock market, personal finance, entrepreneurship, things like that. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, if you're not yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. But other than that, getting into it. So like I said, I'll be talking about passive income, and specifically I'll be talking about what passive income actually is, some misconceptions about passive income, then how I make it, and how you might be able to as well. So one of the best investors of all time, the one of the GOATs, Warren Buffett says, if you don't make money while you sleep, you will never become rich. And I definitely, definitely agree with this. Now, when I'm talking about passive income, I'm not talking about starting some like Amazon FBA or some Shopify store or some bullshit like that. I'm talking about actual passive income. So looking at passive income in its purest forms, and I think there are a lot of different forms of passive income and different ways it can be like associated with different incomes. But either way, the purest forms of passive income is just simply investing in the stock market in one way or the other, or investing in real estate. So why those are the two purest forms of passive income? Well, if we look at what passive income actually means, it basically means putting X amount of money into something and then having that just simply generate you more money. And that's really what passive income in is at its purest form. So relating this to the stock market, you put X amount into the stock market, whether it's in, you know, it could be in uh, stocks, individual stocks, ETFs, different kinds of funds, bonds, whatever it might be, and then have Having that money grow over time and maybe make you make money through capital gains or through dividends. And then when looking at real estate, it could be investing in REITs or literally investing in physical real estate like apartments or houses, duplexes, um, offices, different things like that. Then getting money again through capital gains, dividends, as well as perhaps some sort of rent. Now those are the two purest forms of passive income, and I think it is actually important to have uh, you know one or both of those in your kind of like arsenal of income because those of course are the in my opinion, some of the best ways that you can make money over the long term. And specifically, I invest in the stock market. I really do enjoy investing. I think it's really smart to do it, uh, you know, whatever age you're at, it doesn't really matter. But either way, getting back to the passive income aspect of it, in order to actually make some sort of income that you could live off of or get you to quit your nine to five or maybe get you to stop working a little bit less, you need a significant amount invested into the stock market and it would be upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, I don't think if you're watching this video, I'm going to have to assume, and I know I don't myself, just simply have hundreds of thousands of dollars lying around to invest in the stock market. So that's why in 2019, I actually think there are some smarter ways to get passive income online. And it's kind of exactly what I'm doing right now. So basically, I think the easiest way to create passive income online is basically to create a mini online business through a bunch of different ways. And it basically is what I'm doing right now. So I think the easiest way to actually create just overall income and even to start off a business, which I would consider somewhat passive in nature because it's not going to be your full-time job just yet, is simply by creating content online, whether or not it's through YouTube or Twitter or Instagram, it doesn't really matter. But I think the smartest way by far to make an online business that could create passive income for you is just simply by creating content online. Now, obviously there's a ton of different ways to create content. And I think personally, the smartest way to do it is actually to go follow Gary V's like uh, content structure. You could just Google like Gary V content. I think it's like slide on slide shares or something like that. It's this beautiful way to do it, but I'm not going to break down the entire thing, maybe in a different video, but either way, basically what you have to do is do exactly what I'm doing. So pretty much figure out something you enjoy talking about or writing about or making pictures about doesn't really matter. And it could be anything from the stock market to, you know, entrepreneurship to um, astronomy, Harry Potter, you know, uh, NFL. It doesn't really matter if you're interested in it. There's probably other people who are interested in it as well. The next thing you got to figure out is where, how how are you going to actually make this content online? So is it going to be through video, audio, picture, uh, written form? It doesn't really matter. Now, obviously, if you're doing video, I think there's some. The easiest way to do it is just simply through YouTube. It's super easy to use. It's convenient. It's free. Then, if you're using audio, I actually think a podcast is a great way to go as well. But this could be a little bit different if you're like an artist or something like that. Then, obviously, you need to use um, SoundCloud or some medium like that. But I actually think podcasts are super easy. I personally use Anchor for my own podcast, which I don't post on as much as I should, but Anchor is a free to use one that pretty much allows you to post on every platform that you could possibly listen to a podcast on. And then if you're going some sort of uh, visual that's not video, like perhaps if you're trying to do some sort of pictures, of course, there's always Instagram, Pinterest, 
I mean, there's literally so many social media networks out there that you probably use yourself. Well, you know, Facebook, even you could throw that in there as well that you could post to. But I personally like YouTube and think it's the best to start off on if you are a beginner. But either way, once you figure out how you're actually going to produce that medium, of course, the next part you're going to want to do is actually just simply start creating. So a lot of people, I know they ask me because I have like a reasonably, uh, I have a pretty decent following on YouTube right now and on social media online in general. And a lot of people ask me how I got my following and how I started making money off YouTube. And honestly, the simplest way is just to simply start posting content. So when you actually start making content and actually start putting it out there, if you just go back and look at some of my earliest videos, my videos were really, really bad. And when I first started making videos on YouTube, it was literally me just simply screen recording my phone. It wasn't even me sitting in front of a camera. So when you first start off posting your content, you know, whether it's on YouTube or not, it's probably not going to get millions of views or likes or retweets, whatever. It's probably going to get none and probably the only people retweeting it's going to be like your boyfriend or girlfriend or mom or dad whoever might you know you told what you're doing but either way you have to start off somewhere i think it is smart to just simply start creating content not necessarily worrying about if it's the best thing ever but just start getting it out because your first video your first picture your first podcast is going to be a whole lot worse than your hundredth one and i could definitely agree with that with more than ever and then speaking about actually how you start making money and actually start making income off of these there are so many different ways personally how I make money from my YouTube channel is one, uh, the biggest revenue source for me is just simply through Google ads. So that's one thing that I really like about YouTube as well, is that it kind of does a lot of monetization stuff for you. So when you, I just simply upload videos and I've reached the actual monetization requirements on YouTube, YouTube literally pays me just simply for uploading videos that are monetized and getting monetized views. Now, of course, not all websites and social media sites are like this, but there's so many different ways. Another way I make money is through referral marketing. So basically I I use uh, M1 Finance and Acorns referral marketing links. So those links are in the description. And when you sign up using those links and fund your account, you get either five or ten dollars. And then I also get five or ten dollars when you do that as well. And then similar to that, there's also affiliate marketing, which I know a lot of people out there make a ton of money off of, but I personally don't because it just doesn't relate to my channel and what I talk about as much. But in the description, you'll see as well there's an Amazon affiliate link. And basically, if you click that link and buy something on Amazon, I get a small commission from that. It usually under like 4% and really I don't make pretty much any money from that at all. I only make like 10 or 20 bucks a month off of that if I'm lucky, but obviously if you're making something that's more product oriented, if you're reviewing or unboxing things, you'll probably make a whole lot more money off of that. And then of course you could also just simply try to sell stuff that's associated with what you're talking about, which I actually think is like one of the easiest ways to make money. So there's a bunch of different things you could sell. You could sell physical products. So if you want to go out there and make a soccer Instagram page, maybe perhaps you can make a little side income off selling soccer soccer jerseys or soccer balls. And then uh, you could also sell things that aren't physical, like eBooks, like just literally selling your own work online. So if you're like an artist or something like that, and then also you could sell things like courses and like free video chatting, like live streaming with you or something like that. And there's YouTubers out there in my field that make money from literally doing client calls with people. Like they'll charge them 20 bucks for a half hour or something like that. There's so many different ways out there you could make money that it is absolutely crazy. And I think if you are, you know, complaining about your nine to five job, or if you really want to create some sort of passive income online, I really do think this is the easiest way out there to do it by far. And other than that, just speaking on behalf of my actual passive income and what I do with my YouTube channel. So right now I'm making a little over a thousand bucks a month from just my YouTube channel. And I really don't post too often on any other social media. And this is really the only YouTube channel I have that generates any money. So in the future, what I actually plan to do is obviously continue to grow and work on this YouTube channel but also expand this channel out on different social media networks. So I do have an Instagram, I do have a Twitter, but I don't really post too much on them. I wanna post more on Instagram, more on Facebook, which I also have, um, more on Twitter, and then also branch out onto other social media platforms like LinkedIn and even other newer ones like TikTok. And then also, lastly, one other thing I will do to, to continue to branch out this uh, kind of passive income stream for myself is just to simply try, not necessarily to you know keep uh, the revenue going with this specific YouTube channel, but also start off different YouTube channels that might be associated with this one. Like I want to definitely start like some sort of like YouTube social media how-to because I'm 
actually pretty good at that YouTube type channel. And then I also have a gaming channel, which I'm doing, a tech channel, which I'm doing, which are obviously haven't, or if you, I don't know if you checked them out or not, but have not grown nearly as much as this one have yet. But again, I don't post on those nearly as much as I do on this channel. So that's my pretty much passive income goals for the next uh, year or so. And then also what I'm doing right now. And I hope this really helped you guys. But other than that, guys, it's really it for this video. So definitely let me know in the comment section what you think of this. I personally think this is just simply the easiest way to make income in 2019. And I think it is passive in nature because a lot of times when you're doing this stuff, it's a lot of initial work at once. But then once you kind of get it start rolling, you get into a routine of things, it's a whole lot easier. And personally, for me, it is pretty passive in nature. But other than that, guys, like I said before, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Talk about the stock market, personal finance, entrepreneurship, things like that. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff and you're not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. And also feel free to check out my social media. I have those affiliate referral links in the description as well if you're interested in any of that stuff. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.